and I'm here on the booth of Noron, and uh, you may be saw my article, there's a new mono uh, version, it's the MK2, and it will be some, yeah, it will have some new features, and I'm here with uh, one of the developers. Uh, Hello, how are you? Hello, this is uh, Mathieu from Noron. Uh, Hello, Synth Anatomy. Thank you uh, for having me. So what are now uh, the no MK2, uh, the Mono, uh, remains the same unit, basic, uh, in the most parts? Absolutely, But yeah. you took some major steps forward, uh, adding some new features. Yes, so the idea of MK2, first of all, we, we think from a long time that we needed a redesign, so we worked a lot on the design part, so now it's a, a full aluminum case, machine aluminum, very sturdy, very solid. Uh, we worked a lot on that, and also we've added a, a few, maybe minor things on the hardware, but that can help a lot to push the creativity of the unit. Mm -hmm. So, um, on the analog side, nothing has changed, there's just one little thing, there's a drive output. So, maybe it could be a small thing, but uh, it's actually quite big, because what you can do, it's... Uh, helpful to, to create it's it can be really subtle but it can go a little bit crazy when you combine it for example with a heavy resonance so it can really go into those kind of distorted 303 sound that you couldn't get from mk1 so a really cool addition in terms of the, of the analog path to push the sound possibilities even further um, of course, we have all the modulation stuff uh, so that have, the MK1 uh, user now. But I see this well. uh, interesting touch strip which is available on the Morphos. Yeah, absolutely. So we took the Morphos strip and we pushed it a little bit further. So all the all the, the sequencer and the keyboard keys are touch sensitive, and they are sensitive to the Z axis. So Stuff. It's fully programmable, so you just press, keep it pressed and then you put it on any parameters you mm -hmm. want. So that's for the keyboard. All that, you will be able to record um, automation that are high resolution. On MK1, the automation are quantized to the step, mm -hmm. but now it's at uh, 1024 ppq and automation. This, this will be also in the MK1? Or as in film no, or unfortunately. The... It's okay. impossible. That's one of the reasons also we went for MK2, because okay. Uh, MK1 cannot handle it. On MK2, there is two processors, one for the sequencer and one for to generate the waveforms and envelope. Mm -hmm. So this leaves a lot more processing power to the okay. to the sequencer, which allows this high resolution automation. And then the sequencer strip, it's also touch sensitive, so we can put steps, remove it, just like that. We can use it to morph between the patterns. So this feature is on V2 on the Mono MK1, but you do it with Funk plus Freak. Freak. But here we can really just press the go to morph mode and just press and morph between, between all the all the sequence on the page. So that's sort of the basis of, of this thing. Uh, we are working on the automation editing feature. So let's say you record a, a, a cool automation on the Z axis, but it's a little bit off bits at one point. You will be able to grab that point in curve mode and move it left, right, up and down. Mm -hmm. So you will have a very deep edition features thanks to the, to the sen touch sensitive 3D okay. sensor here. And I saw you have added also USB host and uh, some more, uh, USB micro SD card. Yeah, so the project are now stored on an SD card, which makes it easier to you know, just save mm -hmm. it on the computer, also easier to update the unit. Uh, device ports to connect to the computer, host port to connect another synth or a controller. The idea in the future is to be able to chain all the synthesizer only via USB to be able to take advantage of the power of the MP mm -hmm. keyboard. And with, uh, version, with the firmware version 2.0, you also introduced that it's duophonic or paraphonic. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the duophonic mode can be enabled here, and, and then you, have, uh, you can play the two oscillators separately 
with, uh, mm -hmm. with, with your keys. Um, maybe this patch is not clear enough. And in the future, we'll, we'll implement uh, duo, dual pitch bend so, mm -hmm. and also dual modulation. So you, you will be, uh, for example, be able to modulate the waves separately on the two oscillator. OK. So this is all what you what's new in the MK2. So the analog, the analog circuit are the same, just with the extra yes. uh, overdrive. We yeah. didn't touch what we felt was uh, good, mm -hmm. and we just the most of the improvements are on the digital side. So you still get uh, tons of modulations and so on. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, when you think it will be available? Is this uh, already a timing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were, we should receive the pilot run yeah. next week, and mm -hmm. if everything goes well, we go to production straight away. Okay. And uh, it should be available at the end of June, beginning of July, mm -hmm. um, worldwide. So with all our in all our partner shop uh, for the same price as MK1, so eight forty. Okay, and the new firmware is also out. Sorry? The new firmware 2.0 is also absolutely yeah. so for MK1 users you can you can get it online right now. It's, uh, it's okay. It incorporates a lot of those features. Okay. Thank you. With pleasure. Thank you.